my job here is a pretty easy one because I've been asked to say a few words about Walter Cronkite. And that is very easy for me because Walter Cronkite was who I wanted to be. I am so deeply honored to receive this award in the name of an individual for whom I have tremendous respect. This program that inspires youth to dream of a better world really leads the way for us all. I believe Dad would be very proud, not only of the award being in his honor, but of the people receiving it. I am here because Walter Cronkite believed in you. He believed in what you are doing here and what you stand for. He believed our story has not yet been told. I can proudly say that many have been the accomplishments I have, been, I have done since winning these awards. Some of them in my personal life like being accepted in the most pre prestigious law, law school of Puerto Rico and being nominated to run as a, leg as a leg legislator in my hometown, but also in my professional life by helping and participating in the creation and implementation of the first green initiative in the public schools of Puerto Rico where more than 5,000 students and 150 teachers had their first contact with information about environmental crisis and its effects on our island and our and the world. I'm Ed Begley and I want to thank Marianne, Marianne and everybody at the Stone Soup Leadership Institute for what they're doing, especially bringing awareness to the life and the work of Walter Cronkite. Uncle Walter knew that protecting our environment was everyone's responsibility. That's why we need science-based climate education so that our young people will know better and do better than we do. Through climate education, we can teach young people about the need for climate action and how to cope in a world where they have grown up with this existential crisis facing them every day. We must use education as a tool to share information and encourage action, but also to foster hope and community, two things that are essential to meet the challenges of the present and the future. It goes without saying probably that climate change is our greatest challenge, but I really believe that it also presents our greatest opportunity to build a future that's gonna be healthier for all of us and more equitable. And it reflects our understanding that climate and ecosystems and societies are all interconnected. Our thriving, our human thriving depends on the health of the natural world. So I think our ability to learn and integrate that lesson is everybody's homework assignment. And, and with that, I'll thank you. And again, uh, a deep, a deep and humbling appreciation for this award.